we're gonna see if the sound works. Y'all, let's see if this is a good sound. Somebody let me know. Oh, Lord, no sound. Come on, Lord Jesus, we need you. You can hear us now. Hallelujah in the name of Jesus, Lord. Y'all can hear us all right now. Yeah, 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 yeah. You can hear it. It's coming out. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Bless you, Lord. Is everything all right? Is everything all right? Oh, oh, oh. Everything all right? If everything is all right? Oh, 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 my, my, my. Everything all right. Jerry said it sound good. All right, all right. Deacon E. Rufus Cooper is with us today. I didn't forget you, Deacon. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. We had a little technical difficulties. We're going to try to stay right there in the groove. We're going to stay right there in the groove. And uh, we thank God for you, you and especially you. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. It's going to be a good day today. And we appreciate God. Listen, we're going old school for you. Uh, just a little, just a little old school. Just a little old vibe on the, on the old school today. And then we're going to get to the word of God and we appreciate you. And it says that this is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and, and be glad in it. Oh, it's in the day that the Lord can be. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Oh, it's in the day oh, 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 that the Lord. Lord has made here we go everybody say this is the day day this is the day that the that Lord the Lord has made that the, that Lord, the Lord has made I will I will rejoice come on I will rejoice and be, and be glad in it oh. and be glad in it this, this is the day that the Lord has made The day, come on and say, This is the day that the Lord, that the Lord has made. Yeah. That the Lord has made. I will, I will rejoice. Made up in my mind. I will rejoice and, and be, be glad in it. Oh. Be glad in it. Oh. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will, I will rejoice. This is the day, come on, come on. This is the day that the Lord has made. Everybody clap your hands right there, right there, right there. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus. Nobody like you. Ooh. Oh, yes, son, Lord. We love you, Lord. Here we go. This is the day, come on, come on. This is the day that the Lord has made, that the Lord has made. I will, I will rejoice and be glad. I will rejoice and be glad in it, and be glad. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice, I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord 
God for Jesus and we will rejoice and be exceedingly glad our God is so wonderful our God is so marvelous God is awesome in this place and we thank God it seems like all kind of technical difficulties is happening it seems like the screen is vertical right now you can only watch it one way I'm saying turn it baby if it's ver vertical just turn it <laughs> we don't know what's going on we probably done done something we didn't have no business doing. But to Ram, stuff like this happens. Listen, we are so grateful today for you being here. We are so thankful to have the opportunity to share. Um, and I will rejoice for he has made me glad. We have so many of our friends who's hanging out with us today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Uh, I don't know what's going on. The whole thing is vertical. I just turned mine vertical because that thing won't turn back. Ooh, Jesus, help me, Lord. Help me, Lord. Oh, oh, oh. oh Lord, help me, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> That's all we can do, saints. We don't know. So uh, it's probably going to come out and turn. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Listen, thank you so much for those of you who came by and got your good prayer and your good blessing today. Yes. For yes. those of you who were hanging out and yes, uh, came yes, out yes, with us yes. this morning, um, came this morning to uh, get your prayer and your blessing. We were able to give out a couple of bags 
and it was absolutely wonderful today we appreciate you for taking the time to do that we bless god for you thank god for pastor cuthro and the corona team everybody who helped uh the, the whole team helped uh, she got the bags ready that's why i called her name she went and got them bags and got that stuff in there and we appreciate you we had people handing out bags and people were praying all of the team was here today and we thank god for that uh we bless god i'm gonna say this before we even get on listen chillins wear your mask is this get your mask get your good one. get your good mask i got some special cloth in my mask from somebody who gave me some some good cloth and it's helping to protect us. Please wash your hands. Let's stay safe. Let's stay as safe as we possibly can during this pandemic and watch God do something miraculous. All right? Amen. Uh, uh, somebody said take the rotation off. I don't know. You have to check it out. We're, just turn it sideways, baby. If it's turned that way, we'll, we'll post something and turn it sideways in Jesus' name. We'll turn the rotation off. <laughs> we can't do it now. We're going to have to do it later. Amen. Listen, it's often time in the temple and we thank God for you. We thank God for the opportunity for us to share. We thank God for the opportunity for us to share in the word of God and we bless God for it. Uh, and we thank God. Listen, get your offering. Those of you who will support, you can drop yours by uh, or you can uh, uh, GBC uses Zelle Z-E-L-L-E uh, and, and that is gbcpraise1 at gmail.com and uh, the word church is doing their thing and for those of you if this is your uh, you are a friend to this ministry thank you so much for hanging out with us um, uh, just as a friend of the ministry and uh, you can support you can go to our website goodwillbaptistchurch.org and you can sow there as well but if you are a member of a church we want you to pay your tithes and your offerings to your church don't i mean pay your tithes to your church don't get us in trouble amen but if you are not a member we welcome you to come we will pray for you we will support you we will feed you the word of god in jesus wonderful name and we thank god for that now we do say uh something that is more if we use it for the offering but it's it's more than an offering uh thing for us amen it is a real confession and it is a true confession and we say it like this lord, lord jesus we are people of the covenant we live by the promises of the covenant right now we confess we are blessed our needs are met and our households are blessed spirit soul and body we are blessed we are blessed we are blessed satan the lord rebukes you you can't stop what god is doing in our lives amen he cannot do it amen cannot do it and we thank god for that i thank the praise team for hanging out with me and the band amen if you want to go to the front the top and turn it and swipe down you may be able to change it there uh, but let's get to the word of god i'm so happy to see a couple of people in here god bless you 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 thank you for hanging out with us today amen we're gonna get to this word how many of you ready for the word of god amen it's all crazy today amen but we here and we doing, uh, we got on, uh, uh, y'all, y'all, Larry, we not mad. We thank God for you. But I am, paper Bible say, I am, paper Bible say, from the crown of my head to the sole of my feet, I am, paper Bible say. You got to be paper Bible saved in this day and age. <laughs> <laughs> not electronic say paper bible say and so for those of you uh don't don't sue me amen it's just it is what it is saint john chapter number 17 this is where we're going to continue our discourse today i'm almost finished with saint john chapter number 17 i am almost there we are almost down to these final verses i think if the lord says the same i will be able to complete this on wednesday night so please join me on wednesday night uh, for the conclusion of saint john and then we're going to see what else the lord has to say this is just one of those times where i think this is just prophetic that god has us um 
uh, I, I think it's just one of those things where, uh, where, where God has us, where he has us, and we've got to, uh, this is just where we are, and it is the most profound place that we need to be because in John 17, this is Jesus talking on our behalf. This is Jesus talking on our behalf, and uh, it is uh, wh where we need to be because if nothing else, we need somebody else praying for us in all of the things that's happening. Uh, I want to just acknowledge, and we're praying for the family of um, a lot of people, but the one thing that has really shook us up um, uh, the Blake family, uh, Jacob Blake Jr. and uh, and that, but we are really uh, taken aback by the Chadwick uh, Bozeman death uh, and uh, our black, the, the Black Panther character, uh, and and so many other things. But uh, we're definitely praying uh, for his family, and there are a lot of people who are leaving this here world, you know, and um, we're praying for everybody. So do your best ma'am and sir to stay healthy stay wealthy do the best you can and uh, the maturity is is that God when you can leave yourself out of the equation and you can pray for someone else you then know that it is turning uh, your captivity is turning uh, it worked for Job and that was very key that was a very crucial point in Job's turnaround was his ability to be able to pray for somebody else beyond his circumstance, beyond his trials. And so we find that here in St. John 17, and we're going to conclude, we're going to start uh, 19, 20, 21, uh, and we're going to go from there, and we'll, we'll get to it, all right? I don't have a theme right now. I'm just, Jesus is talking to us. It's the only theme I got out of John 17. Uh, this is just where we are. Father, in Jesus' name, I appreciate you. I honor you and I thank you for the opportunity for us to serve. I thank you for the word of God. I thank you, God, for the clarity of thought and speech. Lord, give it to us so that we can do, the, uh, do great things in your name. We bless you and we love you and we honor you. Uh, get glory out of our lives. Amen and amen. All right. So, here it is again. Jesus is at the uh, final stage or Jesus is at the stage in his life where he has not gone to the garden. I say this every week because it becomes important. He's not been betrayed yet. He, uh, Peter has not denied him. Uh, he has not been questioned about his doctrine. He has not been scourged uh, or mocked. Uh, nobody has slapped him yet. He hasn't gone to Pilate. Uh, he hasn't been crucified on Golgotha. Uh, he hasn't been buried in anybody's tomb. He is uh, prophesying or releasing in the atmosphere what he's sensing from God. So he's releasing in the atmosphere what he's sensing from God. Wait a minute, I'm going to say it again. He's releasing in the atmosphere what he sensed God has already changed. You got to get to a point in your relationship with God where you don't look at where you are. You look at what God has said about your life. And that's what you come into agreement with. Jesus can sense that glory is about to come on his life. But he's still in the present situation. And so in verse number 17, he says something that is very powerful. He says something, he says, uh, um, he says in 17, sanctify them through thy truth. Then he says, thy word is truth. All right. And so he's talking to God on my behalf. And then in verse number 18, he says, as thou hast sent me into the world, even so have I also sent them into the world. And we talked on Wednesday, I think it was, we talked on Wednesday about being in the world, but not being of the world. Uh, and then in verse number 19 is where I want to get to, because he says, listen to what he says. He says, for their sakes, their who, the people who have been introduced to Jesus. 
Jesus says to him, for their sake, I sanctify myself that they also might be sanctified through the, through the truth. Ah, what am I saying? Uh, God affords us the opportunity, and he has given many of us a good relationship. But most people will not see God or experience Jesus except they see him through you. And what he's saying to me in this text, we're going to have to do like Jesus did so people can get to the truth. Sanctify yourself. Lord have mercy. You're going to have to learn how to set yourself apart. You're going to have to learn how to be an example that Jesus has changed somebody's life. You cannot be in and out. You can't be half committed to the process. You can't be somewhat committed. You're going to have to sanctify yourself. Oh, y'all, y'all looking at me. I can feel you looking at me. It's sideways. Yeah, you're looking at me sideways today. But this ain't no denomination. This is a way of living. This ain't no sanctified church. No, it's a sanctified person. Because you are the church. You represent how people are going to get to Jesus. Oh, if they can't see him in you, then how are they going to know that he's a mind regulator. How they going to know that he changes hearts. How will they know that he's a, uh, this is what I, he's a picker up. Y'all ain't with me. He, he know how to pick you up when you're down. But he uses us to make sure that we are the example to the people outside. And we must uh, take the notion to sanctify ourselves so that the truth can get out that means what am i saying you can't do any and everything you want to do and be an example that jesus lives you can't live on both sides of the track you can't live any kind of way if you want folk to get to know who jesus is i understand we are just like Paul. When you would do good, evil is always present. <laughs> and Paul had the nerve enough to say, the thing that I wanted to do when I wanted to do, that's, that's the thing I did not. The thing I should have been doing, I ain't even do that. But the thing that I, I should have been doing, I, I can't even find myself doing what I'm supposed to do. So Paul was jacked up. And this is why. He goes, and this, ain't, this is my sermon, but this is why he goes to God and says, Hey, I got an issue. I got a thorn in my flesh. And he says to him, Lord, can you please take the thorn away? Because I want to be sanctified. I, I want to be right before the people. I want to stand up and show them who the real God is. And, and Jesus says back to him, Boy, you tripping. He said, uh, you only have the thorn so you don't get the big head. Amen. You only have the thorn so you don't get beside yourself thinking you more than you ought to be. He said everybody got a thorn in their flesh. But the thorn is not designed for you to do the thorn. The thorn is designed to make you uh, have a reminder that you ain't as holy as you could be. If you stop reading, you will slip back. Y'all ain't with me. If you stop praying, you will start cussing. Y'all ain't with me. If you leave this whole notion of sanctification and not reading your Bible, you will have a tendency to fall back into your old ways. And he said, but don't worry about that. If you just lean on my grace, Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. He said, if you just lean on my grace, because my grace is sufficient for you. It is not designed to showcase yourself to the world. It's designed for his grace to cover you. I'm getting ready to say something. It ain't for you to expose your issue. It is designed for God's grace to cover your issue. Lord, I'm preaching good today. It's not designed for you to be on, put your stuff on display. It's your design that in your secret closet, you have a little talk with Jesus. And you tell him all about it. And he covers. Grace will cover 
your mess up. I don't know who I'm preaching to today and I don't know why I'm preaching it. But it is not for you to get on the telephone and tell all your business. It is not for you to post it on Facebook or social media. It's for you to go to God in prayer and God's grace will cover you because he needs you to be on the job to lift up his holy name. It is not hypocritical but somebody got to cry out somebody somebody got to tell a dying world that Jesus is still the answer for the world today somebody has got to let somebody know that prayer still works y'all ain't with me somebody got to let the world know that if you hold on God will show up somebody got to let the world know in the old school church that if you call on Jesus he will answer prayer somebody's got to hang around and let him know that he's a mighty good doctor somebody got to be around to let him know he's a mighty good healer somebody got to be around to let him know that God will regulate your mind y'all ain't with me if somebody got to let him know that God will fix a broken heart y'all ain't with me it is not for you to succumb to the circumstance it is for you to give your circumstance to Jesus and if you give it to Jesus even in the midst of going through a bereavement won't he come through and comfort your heart won't God come through and give you joy in the middle of your sorrow? Am I talking to anybody who's ever had to go through anything? And when you wanted to do something else, you turned it over to him and he showed up. Didn't he show up? I don't know about y'all, but my mama died. And now I understand he is a mother to the motherless. My father left here and I found out he is a, a father to the fatherless. What are you saying, Williams? I can't get caught in the trappings of what's happening in my present circumstance. I got to lean and depend on God. Lord, I feel like preaching today. I got to trust him with everything in me. I hear the Bible declares, lean not to your own understanding, but in all your ways. Acknowledge him and he'll direct your path. You know what I hear God saying for you? Lift up your head, O ye gates. I'm still stuck on that scripture. And be ye lifted up, ye everlasting doors. And the king of glory shall come in. Can we talk? Can I have a little talk with you? All God requires is that you lift your head up if you just throw your head up he said I'll show up y'all ain't with me he ain't asking you to give no offering he ain't asking you to run around the church what he's asking you to do is stop holding your head down as if your God can't do it God said whatever your circumstance is whatever your situation is lift up your head oh ye gates and be ye lifted up ye everlasting doors and your head lifted up means the king of glory come in y'all ain't with me not your hand but your head sometimes you can't even lift up your hand and all you can do is throw your head up that's where we get it in our community we say what's up hallelujah y'all ain't with me <laughs> we don't have a thing where we can give you pound sometimes the burden is so heavy that all we can do is throw our head up and cry out lord if you don't help me i ain't gonna make it but if you throw your head up he said i'll show up I'll show up in your situation. Uh, I got to calm down. I got to calm down. I'm sorry. I got to calm down. And so he says in verse number, in John chapter number 17, uh, verse number 19, he says, I sanctify myself. Dog, I got all that out of that one scripture. I need to do better. Uh, and so in verse number 20, which is where we're going to get to, this is going to be good today. Uh, he said, neither pray I for these alone. Jesus is talking to the future yes, sir. people who are going to believe. Yes, sir. So when he says, I don't pray for these alone, down, but for them also which shall believe on me through their word. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. The Lord knoweth the way of the righteous. Yes, that would be me. So when he was praying, he was praying with me in mind. 
Lord, y'all ain't with me. You ought to pat yourself because we can't pound our neighbor. But you better know, John 17, when he was praying, he had me on his mind. Because he knew somebody was going to introduce me to Jesus. He knew I was going to be a part of the fold. He knew that I was going to need him. He knew that I was going to be washed in the blood of the... Y'all ain't with me. He knew I was coming out the club. He knew I was going to be turned around. He knew I wasn't going to be a hellion all my life. He knew it. The Bible says those whom he know, he foreknow, he glorify. Hallelujah. God knows how to glorify you. He was glorifying you when you was in the club. Y'all ain't with me. He was glorifying you when you was at the when you were at the hotel when you were drinking. He knew you were going to come to him. And Jesus had a sense that you were going to be where you are right now in this situation, in this moment, and you were going to need this prayer. And so he's trying to convince us and tell us, don't you worry about where you are. I already prayed for you that your faith fail you not. I dare you to get all happy and I re be reassured that where you are is not your final place. Where you are got victory written all on it. I feel like God, I feel like preaching today. Where you are got victory written all on it. Uh, you ought to look at your hands, them victory hands you looking at. Uh, why? Because they clean hands. Y'all, y'all ain't with me. They don't do the stuff they used to. I ain't talking to you heathens who want to continue. I'm talking about for those of us who stopped doing what we used to do. And he done messed around and washed our hands. Uh, he messed around and washed our feet. Uh, he done washed our eyeballs. Uh, you know God got something great for you he wouldn't pick you up out of your problem out of your mess if he didn't have a plan to give you victory he don't pick you up without a plan God got a plan to give you victory boy I feel like preaching God has a plan to give you victory you gonna get your victory Mm, 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 mm. let me finish it so he says in verse number 21 I'm almost there Ken he says he says listen I pray for these not alone but for those who are going to come along who will believe their word listen to this I'm doing this that they all may be boy Y'all better let this word sink in you. I'm praying that they all might be one. Listen, but look at the definition of his oneness. He says, I'm praying that they all may be one. As thou, Father, listen to the verbiage, art in me, and I in thee. And I'm doing it that they also may be one in us. Lord, boy, y'all, 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 you don't know. Boy, I feel like running. I feel like God said, Jesus is saying here, I pray that they may be one. Like you and I are one. So then that they will see that you and me was one the whole time. Lord Jesus. Deke, I feel like running. Wait a minute, Deke, let, let me show you what the Lord told me. Let me tell you how he told me. He said, when Jesus comes into the world, he and God were so at one. That Jesus never knew what it was like not to have God on his side. Jesus and God was such a one that Jesus couldn't be tricked by a wilderness woman. Yeah, I called her a woman. I just. <laughs> Jesus couldn't be tricked. By the woman who was caught in adultery. 
Jesus couldn't be tricked by the woman at the well. Y'all ain't with me. Jesus couldn't be tricked by not having no food. As long as I had two fish and five loaves, God was on my side. Jesus couldn't be tricked by old regular storm. Because not only was he the theanthropic person of Christ, he was both humanity and divinity. But he had a backup, Lord him. Boy, I feel like preaching. You ought to pat yourself and tell him, I got a backup. I got a backup. You, wait a minute. And it's a backup you can't see. Because the Bible says in John chapter number four, I believe it is, that he is a spirit. And they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Be careful how you handle me. You don't know who's on my side. Be careful how you talk about me because you don't know who's hearing you say that stuff about me. Because me and God are like Jesus and God. We won. Jesus was so bad that people were trying to kill him. He was like, dude, you realize you can't touch me. He walked right through him. Y'all not with me? Y'all not with me? I'm getting ready to help you. All right, can we come down your row? Stop acting like where you in is a panic for God. Stop acting like God don't know what you got. God knows exactly what's going on in your world. Because Jesus prayed that you and God would be what? One. And if you and God are one, then that means God is your backup plan. Can you imagine having God as your backup plan? And God is so formidable that in Old Testament time, he would speak to the trees to give you a miracle. Y'all ain't with me. I hope I'm praying. I hope I'm preaching. I hope I'm preaching real good. I keep telling y'all, I'm going to cash out myself. This stuff is so good. I'm telling you now, I'm t God is saying, I was the stone. All I ask you to do is pick it up and defend me. He said, if you defend me, I'm there. You're going to ask, now how are you going to go from New Testament Jesus to Old Testament? Because everything was made. That was made. Was made by him. In the beginning, what's the word? And the word was God. Y'all ain't with me, boy. And the word was with God. Y'all ain't with me today. So when he created the stars and the moon, Jesus was there. And Jesus said, Jesus said, make them like you made me. Defend me. Make sure I, I feel like dancing. Make sure the enemy don't win in no area of my life. That's what he said. He was saying, make sure the enemy don't get no victory in no area of my life. He said, make them, Tobin, am I, am I in the book? I got two of them in here. He said, he said make them one as the father. At, now, now, this is what I saw, Brother Gene, that, that blessed me. This is what I saw that was really good. Y'all reading it. Y'all reading it like I'm reading it. Check out this verse one more time. Verse number 21. That they all may be one as thou, as thou, father, Art what? But no. Well, when I saw that, I said, He ain't on me. He in me. This is why I start trying to figure out, Pastor Alberta, how in the world do I have peace in the middle of a pandemic? Because He ain't on me. He in me. And he has reminded me that the pandemic may have caught you off guard. But it didn't catch me off guard. Y'all ain't with me. Y'all ain't with me. That's what he was telling me. I'm in you. I, I, this ain't no game. This ain't no gimmick. I'm in you. I'm, I'm on the inside. My oneness is not, is not what's external. My oneness is internal this is why 
when trouble comes, most people who got gone don't run into a panic because the oneness in you says if you just hold your peace. Well, I feel, he said, have you ever had God tell you, hold your peace? I'll fight your battle. That's that oneness. That's that oneness that'll pick up. That oneness that'll pick up. It'll pick up where you don't have strength to pick up. When you are going through a state of confusion, he'll bring you some calm in the middle of transition. It's the calmness that he brings. And so uh, I want you to pat yourself because we ain't got no neighbor. I want you to pat yourself and say, oh, he in me. And we have won. We have won this. We have won this. We have won this. It's why don't nobody mess with my joy. Y'all ain't with me. Uh, I was sitting at home uh, the other day. I was sitting. I was singing one of my songs. I got happy singing one of my own songs and start dancing. Because I was like, if you call Jesus, boy, he will show up. God of my, and the more I thought about it, the happier I got. And I just started praising God. And people was like, boy, what's wrong with you? I said, you don't understand. I feel it. I, God, boy, he's in me. When, 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 look, 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 when I want it to give up, what's in me tells me, you better hold on. And it ain't no loud voice. It ain't the wind and the wave. It's just a still, small voice that say, I got your back. I got you. I got you. I got you. I got your back. I got you. What I need you to do is don't let the assigned rock take your place. Coming, they missed it. They missed it because there's a rock that's a sign that'll cry out if you don't cry out. And he said, Whatever you do, don't let the assigned rock cry out for you. Keep the rock at bay, (laughs) y'all. And so he says, He's in you. I'm getting ready to close. Because I ain't gonna be able to finish all of this, Gloria. He 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 says I'm he says I'm in you. He says make them listen. Listen to this. Listen to verse number twenty one, and then I, I'm I'm gonna get on out of here. He says that the world may believe that thou sent me. Jesus is saying I'm at oneness with you. He prayed that you and God would be at one so that the world will know Jesus is real. Oh God, can we talk? You can't demonstrate if he's real or not until you go through something that you can't get out. Yeah. You got to go through something that looks like you can't get out. And then when you come out, the world knows. I know that was not possible with your limitation of humanity. Something else got to be working in you. God Almighty. Lord have mercy. If somebody ought to tap yourself and say something else is working in me. <laughs> something else is working in me. That's why the devil hadn't been able to trick you in the middle of all this mess. <laughs> something else is working in you. I don't know who I'm preaching to today, but you are not going down. Something else is working on the inside of you. And the world has got to see that you're going through a little something, something. Everybody got, you ever had those people who look at you and say, now I know. Ain't no way God saved you. And then when they see you, be like, mm, yeah, he did too. <laughs> if you knew, and some of you knew who we were when we were when we were, and now you're looking at us now, and you're saying there must be a God. <laughs> because if you are the one who saved, and you the one crying out in the wilderness, <laughs> out of all the stuff you did, <laughs> and all you can look at him and say, yeah, I did it. You and I were there. But somehow he touched me. God Almighty. Somehow he cleansed me. I feel like preaching today. Somehow he made a difference. I didn't even choose him. He plucked me up out of the mess. 
and told me come over here I got a work for you to do and I want you to be saved uh, many of us sitting in this room don't look like the hell that we participated in God, and we thank God that when the folks see us when we go back to our neighborhood we don't look nothing like what we came out of we don't look nothing like the circumstances that we did we don't look nothing like the trouble that we've been in we don't look nothing like the situation many of us had a bad reputation but all the blood when he came in and washed me makes me look brand new I got the blood so much until I'm reversing in my age I'm looking better now than I did then I'm looking better now and I'm looking at some folk that graduated with me that went to elementary school with me that went through all the trials with me that smoked with me that drank with me and somehow they didn't get caught but I did and I don't look like what I've been through I don't smell like the smoke I was in I don't smell like the lion that tried to kill me I don't look like the demon I don't look like I'm beneath the giant I look like a giant killer I look like I overcame the lion I look like I overcame the smoke I don't smell like I don't look like nothing of that Cause I've been washed in the blood of the Lamb He is in me, He is on me, He's coming through me And I will walk in my victory I will overcome Somebody ought to give God a crazy Unadulterated, unmoved Bless Him, praise Him We love you for being at one with me. Hey. Glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. Glory, glory, glory. I'm sorry. I done mess around and got happy. I done mess around and start thinking about just how good God been. Oh, oh. Oh, now I understand what my grandmama would say. That when I think of the goodness of Jesus and all that he's done for me, my soul cries out. My hands cry out. My eyeballs cry out. My feet cry out. I thank God for saving me. I thank God for delivering me. I thank God for choosing me. I thank God for turning me. I thank God for blessing me. That's why while we sitting in here now, we can throw up holy hands and give God the best praise. Because if it had not been... on verse number 22. Y'all sit down for a minute. Mm. Gene, I feel like right. He had the nerve enough in 22 to say this. Boy, if y'all don't jump off this, you ain't saved real good. And the glory which thou gave me I have given. Gene, ain't nobody happy but me. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. The reason the trouble can't grip you is because the glory is on you. When the enemy think he got me the glory is so powerful on me that I've slipped out of the enemy's grasp has there been anybody who's ever gone through anything 
and you understand you don't know how you got out it was the glory of God that was on you it's the same glory that worked when Jesus walked through the crowd it's the same glory that worked in the bottom of the ship it's the same glory that worked when you were in elementary school it's the same glory that worked while you was in the club it's the same glory that worked while we were at school and college it's the same glory that worked when you were about to have that bad accident it's the same glory that worked that sent you home before the shooting started it's the same glory that worked that reversed the curse on the family it's the same glory that worked and got in the paperwork and when you should have been in prison when you should have been in jail somehow glory came in got in between the DA and the attorney messed around and messed up the eyesight of the judge told the cops to stay back and somehow when they thought they had you in your grasp you slipped away hey is there anybody here who slipped away from the devil when he thought he had your mind all wrapped up oh but the glory that was on you kept you lifting up your hands in the middle of your depressed state i know you were depressed you know you were depressed but depression couldn't stay on you because of the glory of god you ask me how am i living you ask me how am i happy i sing because i'm happy and i sing because i'm free his eye is on the sparrow and i know god almighty i feel like preaching old school i know he watches me it's the glory of god that keeps me delivered it's the glory of god that keeps me moving i hear the old song said what can wash away my sin nothing but the blood of jesus what can make me all again nothing but the blood of jesus you're gonna say what is that for because it's the blood that covers me that gives me the glory it gives me access to the things of heaven the word of god is not bound and if the word ain't bound i ain't bound the glory is working on my behalf that's why i still got a little money coming in the pandemic that's why i got peace coming in this whole mess that's why i got a feeling that everything is gonna be all right let me get back to my song oh precious is that flow that makes me white as snow no other mountain i know oh the blood oh the blood he died on the cross and the temple was rent it was torn in two just so i could get the glory he was pierced in his side so i could get the glory he had a crown of thorns on his head so i could get the glory he died till the sun dripped away he died till the dead got up out the grave when he wanted me to walk in glory i tell you now don't be sitting around here like god ain't gonna bring you through i feel the glory i feel the glory i feel the glory You might fall 
come on me, but you just won't work. No weapon formed against me shall prosper. It just won't work. I'm blessing the city. Hey, I'm blessing the field. I'm blessed at Walmart. I'm blessed in my car. I'm blessed at Target. I'm blessed when I get gas. I'm blessed when I'm cutting the grass. I'm blessed when I come in. I'm blessed when I go out. Cause the glory of the Lord is on my life. I'm blessing a suit. I'm blessing a t-shirt. I'm blessing jeans. When I think of the goodness of Jesus and all he's done for me, somebody ought to give him a crazy prize. upon people to not conclude my life. Because just because I'm going through and it look like I ain't going to come out, you got to give glory a chance. I'm sure the enemy thought they had Jesus when he died. And they went to celebrate. Just like some folk are celebrating over you. But oh, you might want to wait three days. I know I ain't been around in a couple of days. I know it might be a little dark right now, but oh, give God a chance. 
I feel Baptist today. One of these old days, I'm going to rise up from where I am. And you're going to see me again. Uh, Y'all just say it in the atmosphere. You're going to see me again. And I'm coming back with power. I'm coming back with power. Today, I got a little bit too excited. It must have been I get to preach in a t-shirt. <laughs> what did God want me to say to you today? That Jesus left you a prayer of intercession that says you and God are one. You think you're God? That ain't what I said. God is in me. And I'm at one with the God that's in me. I said this, Lewis. I said this to myself. I said, you know what? I'm at peace with you, God. For choosing me to be just like I am. I don't want to be nobody else. I want to be okay with what you chose. And I was getting me some drink, some orange drink out of my refrigerator. And I said to the Lord, I said, Lord, I'm at peace with how you made me. This going to come down somebody's road. And if everybody don't ever be my friend, as long as you don't ever leave me, we good. And I got some folk who I know will dip in and out. Uh One bad move from me, they'll dip out. Uh One good move from me, they'll dip in. in. (laughs) But he won't dip out. Or dip in. Because we won. And I'm okay with being anointed. I feel like running. I'm okay with being healthy. I'm okay with being wealthy. I'm okay with being increased. I'm okay with being empowered. I'm okay because I done been through the valley and he was with me in the valley. Which means I'm going to be okay being on the mountaintop. Place off the Ken. So thank you so much. Man, I appreciate you. Uh, and so he says, the same glory that he gave Jesus the same glory Gene. Jesus said the same one that you gave me when I came in give it to them somebody better receive that cause sometimes when you can't get yourself out the glory will work in you we call it favor but it's the glory And that's why you don't fit in with everybody. That's why you can't do everything. Because the glory is on you. I remember wanting to be unsaved while I was saved. And I I went through my divorce. I was just trying to be Stephen. And I, was, and I was sitting down talking to somebody and they was talking about I'm thinking I'm rapping and they was talking about it's something different about you I said oh shucks here I am trying to rap and I got to start counseling them on their problems I said really you gonna do this to me here really like, like I'm out of town these people don't know me I got no jeans and a cap, a bald cap. And they tell me, it's something just so different about you. <laughs> Tried to run from the glory, and the glory followed me. 
I was singing one time some karaoke. It was one of the first times I ever sang karaoke. On one of them conferences, I'm just singing karaoke. And one lady walked by me and said, hmm, preacher. I said, what? <laughs> and I was singing something that had nothing to do with no preaching. One of them old songs, because I don't know the new ones. I knew one of the old ones. And I was looking at the words, and I was singing. And she said, hmm, preacher. I can hear it in your voice. And I said, I said, girl, bye. I felt like Peter that day. I said, girl, bye. She said, no, I identify with because I'm a preacher's kid and I know when I hear. It's the glory that's on you. God is going to work this thing out in your favor because you are at one with his glory. Does that make sense? I'm going to finish this on Wednesday. I'll be finished. Verse 20, 22 is where I stop. I'll be finished. I'll finish 23 two through 26 on Wednesday. And we'll get out of the book of John 7 and see what else the Lord has. But I want to encourage you today. Lift up your head. God has a plan for you. God has something in store for your life. Don't let the moment make you think that the moment is bigger than his glory. He's at one with you. But you're going to say, I'm not perfect. He didn't ask you for perfection. He asked you for availability. Nobody's perfect. He just wants us to be available. Make yourself available today. And watch God. You ain't going to get no sleep anyway, so you might as well just say yes. Come on, how many of us done has? How many? You might as well just say yes. Some of y'all be tripping. Y'all act like y'all gonna run, outrun God. You do know he's everywhere, right? You ain't gonna outrun him? Wait a minute. And here's funny about God. He ain't got no time limit. He'll call you old. He'll call you on your sick bed. God has a way. So you might as well do it while you're healthy. Just say yes to him and be okay with the glory that's in you. Everybody ain't got it. So enjoy it and embrace it. Be like your big brother and know that it's going to be okay. I got to sing this song uh, this afternoon, but I feel it's, it's appropriate today. I don't even know what key you in. What key you in? E? Uh, go to, go to, go to uh, C sharp or C, one of them. Whichever one is easy for you. And it says, I'm so glad Trouble don't last away. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last away. Yes, sir. I'm sorry, Mission. I'm so glad. Oh, yes, I am. Trouble don't last away. To the bridge. We've been. So glad that trouble don't trouble don't trouble don't trouble don't trouble don't trouble trouble don't last always. Listen, that's our message today to you. It ain't gonna last because the glory of God is in you, and you all are at one with Jesus Christ and God. Watch Him pull you through. Lift up your head and watch God do it. I'm early today. Trouble don't last always. We gonna go over that. I'm so glad. Trouble don't last always. We'll see you on Thursday. On Wednesday, if you're gonna come. If not, we'll see you next week on Sunday. Everybody say with me, I'm anointed. I'm healthy. I'm wealthy. I'm increased. 
I'm empowered. I'm in the kingdom. And I'm in order in Jesus' name. And the glory of God is on me. Come on, somebody celebrate that you're going to come out of this trouble. The, the glory of God is on you. It's in you until our next appointed time. I love you. And may God continue and heaven smile upon you. In Jesus' name, we're praying for salvation. If you want to get saved, come on, this is a good time to let it into your heart. This is the moment. This is the place. Acknowledge that he is the Savior. And watch God come in and wash you and make you whole. We all saved in here. We've been washed in the blood of the Lamb. And we thank God. And I'm so glad that trouble won't last always because of the glory that's on my life. God's blessings be unto you. I'm so glad. Yeah, 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 yeah. Trouble don't last always. Ooh.